Hi, this is Shri Priya Madan from Shristi Technology Labs. This video is to show how to create a Struts web application using Maven. For this, open Eclipse, select File, New, Other, type Maven. Choose Maven project, click Next. Since we are going to create a web application, you can skip this part and click next. Type web app in filter. Select Maven Arch type web app. Click next. Give a name for group ID. This group ID is nothing but a package which is going to have your war file. Give a name for artifact ID. This is your project name. Let me name the project as Struts Maven Demo 2. In package, give the name as var web rq file. Click finish. The project is created. Let us see the structure of the project before converting it into a Struts web project. You can see Java resources. Inside that you got SRC main resources folder. This is the place where you are going to add all your XML and properties files. If you see here SRC slash main slash Java folder is missing. So we need to create it. Select SRC, select main, right click, new folder, give the name of the folder as Java, click finish. I need to refresh it. So select your project, right click, refresh. Now you can see src slash main slash java which is going to have all your java files. src slash main slash resources is going to have the properties files, configuration and xml files. Now let me open main. We have got web app over here. Inside web app you have all the JSP files and WebINF folder. Inside WebINF, I have got web.xml. Let me open web.xml. This is not the web.xml file which we want. We will remove it and this is the web.xml which I want. So I am adding this over here. So let me just change the name. It's struts maven demo 2. You can see the welcome file list which comes as usual. And I have added the filter mapping to convert this web application into a struts web application. Let me save this. The next step is to add dependencies to pom.xml. So open pom.xml. Go to pom.xml. Before adding the dependencies, let me show you where the Maven dependencies are sitting. Open libraries, Maven dependencies. If you see here, it is having only JUnit 3.8.1, which is added over here. Let me add the dependency for struts. Dependency. Inside this, we need to add group ID, artifact ID, and version. You don't have to remember this. You can directly take it from Maven repository. org.apache.struts Artifact ID is struts2 hyphen core and version is 2.3.4.1 So let me save this. The moment you save, the dependencies are coming and sitting over here automatically. If it is not, select your project, right click, run as maven install. So automatically the repository will be created and the files will be added to the maven dependencies. You can see over here, build success. So now, what we have done is, we have added the maven dependencies for struts. That is, all the jar files are added. Next step is 
to modify index.jsp. Select index.jsp. This is not the file which I want. So I am removing it and I need to add a completely different code. So which I have got already contents for index.jsp. If you see here, I have added a tag lib which is going to add all the struts tags for this JSP page. If this tag lib URI is not imported, then this s colon tags will never work. So I am using s colon form, action is equal to login, text field key equal to user dot name, key equal to user dot city. This name and city are from a user bean. So let us create the bean class first. Select Java, right click, new, other, class. Select Java class, click next. Let me name the package as com.bean. The class is user, click finish. So this is a Java bean. So let me create two instance variables, private string name, private string city and let me also create get run setter methods generate get run setter methods for this select all click ok and go to source generate to string and click finish save this so now I have created the java bean the next step is to create the action class so select java again right click new class so the package name has to be com.actions so I am creating the action class over here user action click finish so in the user class I am going to create an instance variable for the user bean private user user so I need to import this import com.bean let me also generate get run set methods for this select all click ok let me have one method public string execute and return success semicolon now let me save this also now if you see over here I have got index.jsp let me open it so this is my index.jsp I will minimize and you can have a look over here this is index.jsp and this is user action so what instance variable name you are giving over here must be the key for your text field since I have given user so it is user dot name and user dot city name and city are instance variables from user bean the next step is to create struts dot xml and package dot properties in resources folder so so I have created struts dot xml and package dot properties so package dot properties it is going to have user dot name enter your name user dot city enter your city submit click here so this is going to be a key value pair and I am going to open struts dot xml in struts dot xml what is that action we are using name equal to login this is coming from the first page index dot jsp so what name you have got over here login that name we are supposed to give it over here in name classes com dot actions dot user action so I have given it over here the method is execute which is from user action if result name is success it is go it has to go to success dot jsp so let me create success dot jsp in web app select right click new jsp file success.jsp click finish 
so I need to add the struts tag which is given over here control C control V so inside this yes colon property value equal to user dot name welcome dr city control v user dot city save this so we need to add the target runtime for this project so select your project right click properties targeted runtimes select apache tomcat and cl apply click ok if you have not got the targeted runtime you can of course go and add it from windows window preferences in server runtime environment add and you can select and add apache tomcat since i have got this already i am just skipping this step so once this is done let us check whether we have done with everything completely so my first page is index.jsp so in this index.jsp what it is having is like you can see the struts tag which is added and a form so from here it goes to web.xml let me open web.xml in web.xml i have added the filter mapping so from here directly it goes to struts.xml in struts.xml if the name is login it is supposed to go to user action to the method execute so let us check whether we have created it so we have got com.actions open user action check whether you have got execute method the return type is success so I will come back to struts.xml if the result name is success it has to go to success.jsp so success.jsp here I have got the output now let us check whether inside the target the war file is created select your project right click run as maven install so now the war file is generated so you can see the war file which is being generated over here so let us run the project now select your project right click run as run on server so select the server which you want click next the project which I want to run as struts maven demo 2 click finish so in the console this opening let me enter my name Bangalore and when I click here Prince welcome Priya city Bangalore and that's all for this web application thank you